Leagues are go. The 19th A-League men's competition. This could save it. Wouldn't you know? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The fairy tale is complete. The Central Coast Mariners, champions of Australia. Hello, I'm James Dodd, and welcome to the Isuzu Ute A-League Highlights Show. Round three kicked off with a new face in the dugout as Aurelio Vidmar took charge of Melbourne City for the first time following the departure of Rado Vidasic. City's opposition came in the form of Sydney FC, with the Sky Blues arriving in Victoria having suffered defeat in both of their opening matches. Your match commentators for this one are Andy Harper and Simon Hill. Sort of service that Fabio Gomez was largely denied last week in his max corner, headed away by Bayic, and on the half volley is Joe Lolly. Well, he attacked the ball admirably. The header out to Lolly at full stretch on that half volley. Here's Lolly after Melbourne City's sustained spell of pressure. Lolly's going to unleash here. Well, that's three opportunities he's had, and Jamie Young is unhappy that his defence allowed him to get that effort away. Because he can finish. I haven't gone four games without a goal since January 2015. Let's see what they can build here. King into the box, and Joe Lolly again. Well, the chances are racking up for the Englishman. Sooner or later, you fancy he's going to take one. But here he's steaming in, untracked. It's a good run. Can't steer the header. Maybe the attention of Steve Vigarkovic in the end was enough. And City have broken away nicely here. Yakulis, who's round the challenge of Aaron Good with ease. They wait in the middle. Surely no. Curtis Good, of all people, was furthest forward but swept his shot wide of the post. It was a razor-sharp counter-attack from Melbourne City. Yeah, it's excellent play from Melbourne City, and it's a, it's a fantastic run from Curtis Good. And Yakulis does very, very well to create the chance. It's a super opportunity. Bayic again. Arsalan available. Yukakovic, chance to shoot perhaps, and he goes for it! And finds the bottom corner! Melbourne City lead in the final minute of the first half. It's a first goal in City colours for Steven Jugakovic. As is Bayic to Arslan, Sydney just not recovering defensively. There's white shirts in space, but not tigerish enough. And Jugakovic threads the needle past the outstretched arm of Andrew Redmayne, and it's the lead that Melbourne City deserved. Set to meet to perfect. Oh, now, big chance for City. Marin Yakulis through one-on-one, -on -one, squares it up. McLaren was never, ever going to miss from there. Not in a month of Sundays. And right at the outset of the second half, Melbourne City have doubled Sydney's problems. Sydney FC are in slow-mo. And Yakulis strolls in on goal. Put away on halfway. Beautiful ball through, Sydney at sixes and sevens. And Yarkulis draws the space, invites McLaren for the tap-in. Here's Tolga Arslan, encouraged to shoot. Bill King stretches out a boot. But the turnover's coming regularly from Sydney. They each can't make progress. Yugakovic pushed away by Redmayne. And King will clear his lights. But Sydney just hanging on here. Just. And it's barely fits and starts from Sydney, barely. Caceres has won the ball back, sorry Andy. And clips it in, and Gomez perhaps should have made it 2-1. Time of the essence now for Sydney, lifted into the box by Caceres and Fabio Gomez. Again, that's the service he needs. It's a beautiful ball in from Caceres twice now. Caceres to Gomez and Sydney might have yielded a result. He attacked that one nicely. It's not easy. Didn't have a lot of space in which to work. An encouraging start to the Aurelio Vidmar era as Melbourne City secured their first win of the season. The first of four fixtures on a blockbuster Saturday in the Isuzu Ute A-League saw two undefeated sides face off at Sky Stadium as Wellington Phoenix hosted Brisbane Raw. 
Both teams had recorded a draw and a win prior to this one. However, the historical ledger between the two sides is firmly weighted towards the Phoenix, who had lost just two of the last 10 meetings. Calling the action for this one, Jacob Spoonley and Jason Pine. Brisbane Roar and their change strip, slightly darker than their traditional orange, but still some orange in the trim. And it's Brisbane who make the first incursion into the penalty area and inside 35 seconds. Brisbane Roar open the scoring in Wellington. It is some strike. And Alex Paulson, who has been so good in goal for Wellington so far this season, could do absolutely nothing. Nice pass to Payne. Looks towards the far post. Pennington arriving. Savada there. Pennington! Palm the side by Macklin Freak. First real chance for Wellington Phoenix. Here's Tim Payne lining up the shot. Tim Payne in his 93rd A League men's match has finally hit the back of the net. It's the most unlikely source, but a welcome one for Wellington. Tim Payne. Barbaroussis is going to make Tom Aldred scamper back. And it's into the path of Zavada. Brisbane are the architects of their own demise. You cannot put balls on plates like that for Oscar Zavada because he will make you pay. And does. And Wellington 2-1 to the good now. Savada with a header and it frees up El Tate. Payne, of course, is there. Through to Oscar Zavada. Zavada on goal. Around Freak. And off the post. Well, is he destined never to score a brace for Wellington? <laughs> Wellington can't get it clear. Jay O'Shea. Up in the air from Wooten. Pennington gets it halfway. Millie Osnitz defeated in the goal. Nikola Milosnic, with the help of a healthy deflection, has squared the ledger for Brisbane Roar. Here comes Zivakraev, uh, rather. Boshinakraev! How about that from the Bulgarian? He did not look favourite to get that in the net. Drifts it to far post, and Zavada's headed at home. A brace has come his way. The first 16 of his goals came in 16 games, but two tonight for Oscar Zavada. Corner results taken quickly. Amiento and tipped over by Paulson. Lovely ball in again from O'Shea. and sets up Savada, and it won't be the best finish of his career, but Oscar Zavada has a hat-trick, set up by Nico Pennington, five-star performance from Wellington, and for a couple of hours anyway, they are top of the A-League. Oscar Zavada, the hat-trick hero for Wellington as Giancarlo Italiano has now masterminded Phoenix's best ever start to a league campaign. Next up, we head to the southwest of Sydney, where an unbeaten MacArthur FC welcomed Western United to Campbelltown Stadium. John Aloisi made one change to a Western side that was on the wrong end of a 5-0 demolition in round two, while Mile Stajowski named an unchanged starting 11 after defeating Central Coast Mariners last time out. Your commentary team for this one, Phil Moss and Ben Homer. Well, I suppose, and then you look at it. Like oh, how about that touch from the Frenchman? Jed Drew here. Three on two if they're good enough, MacArthur. Drew with the perfect ball. And how about the save from Tom Hewitt-Bell? Denies a certain Bulls goal. Well, what a reflex save that is from Tommy Hewitt-Bell. Absolutely brilliant. As you see, Drew powering down this left-hand side. He does brilliantly here. Look at the bend. On that, he puts it into a perfect area. And Raphael just gives Hewitt Bell the chance to get across instead of going back from where the ball had been delivered. Four time at the Mariners and now Western United. Backers floating it to Raphael. Got himself in a good position there on Garuccio. And now Nicolau. 
forces another good stop out of Hewitt Bell. What a moment that would have been for Yanni Nicolau. Fergate to Danzaki. Tenya heavily involved in this first half, looking to feed off this run from Risden. Risden looking for the top corner, maybe. It could have been a cross as well. He would have taken it regardless, but Philip Curto has to spring into action. Orgler. Nicolau. Oh, the volley from Holman. It was crisp, but it was wide as well. Well, that was a good passage of play. Orgler finding some space out on this right hand side, laying it back into the path of Nicolau. Tenya turning on the speed. Nazarene clips it up. Off oh, the post. Risden came flying through the captain. And he almost pinched. A valuable goal for Western United. Nazarene. Oh, they almost pinched it. And it was the new man looking for his first A-League goal in eight years. Nikita Rukovica. Rose turn into Garuccio. Orgler rounds the keeper. Ali Orgler, the youngster, has won the point for MacArthur. What a moment for the 21 year old in front of the bullpen. Ali Orgler picking the perfect time to score his first goal in the Isuzu Ute A League as MacArthur equaled their best ever start to a league campaign. Join us after the break as things get heated between Melbourne Victory and Adelaide United in the original rivalry. Welcome back to the Isuzu Ute A-League Highlights Show. First met second at Amy Park on Saturday night as Melbourne Victory hosted Adelaide United in another hotly anticipated edition of the original rivalry. The Reds crossed the border into Victoria having thrashed Melbourne City 6-0 in round two, but their first away trip of the season saw them visit a Melbourne Victory side gunning for three straight wins to start a season for the first time since 2006. Daniel McBreen and Robbie Thompson are your match commentators. Pass Medanya, cross in, cleared by Johnny Yull. Hazani, great little touch for the Lupule again. He's already had two great sightings at goal. And they've both come from the boot of Daniel Arzani. Wonderful improvised little touch around the corner. Well, that's a great ball for Aaron Kunda, side netting. Clever little corner routine and Clough finding him perfectly. Well, that was straight off the training park, wasn't it? Look at the late run. All the players coming towards the six yard box. Aaron Kunda. The strength of Mashash just brushing away Kitto. The cutback is brilliant for Bonarone! He just can't stop scoring. Zinedine Mashash, the provider. Bruno Bonaroli for the sixth time this season, the finisher. And in the 62nd original rivalry clash, Victory have the lead before the half hour. Well, we'll see here on the Harvey Norman replay, Sinadi Massash with the strength and power, the bustling run. And as he gets his head up, you see a little look. And as the ball comes to Fornaroli with the form he's in, he's always taking it first time. That are looking to drive home their advantage. Arzani directing traffic, taking on Kitto again. Drives it in hard this time, spilt, the Lupule so close. Cleared by Popovic, a last ditch clearance. Yell's delivery, good ball, good pace on it. It's bounced in the box, it's bounced again, Ansel is there. Clough, that's a good ball, Yell in behind, across the face of goal. Ibasuki looking for the touch and Izzo. Did he get the final touch or was it De Silva? Well, I, thought, I must admit, I thought it was Izzo as well, but everyone's tapping the silver on the back. It's a good play down the right-hand side. You see there, no, it was Izzo. Arzani, this time, back post. Fornaroli's there. 
Now she didn't get a touch that time. Who turns? Very well defended, Connor Chapman. And now look out because Mashash is on the charge. Down the right hand side, looks up, sees Fornaroli. Arzani takes over. Velupole at the back post. It's a great ball for Velupole. Gauchi saves again. Oh, Fornaroli with the goal at his mercy. Can't find his second of the night as Velupole is denied again in his personal battle with Joe Gauchi. Well, that's a great ball there and a great first time effort. Hiran Kunda goes again. Foul by Miranda and yellow card for the victory captain who claims that Mr. Iran Kunda was taking a big dive. 59th minute on, it's a great ball. Ibasuki is there. And Melbourne victory can regret all those missed chances because from one set piece against the run of play, Clough's ball in, Ibasuki opens his account for the season. He celebrates with the red corner of Amy Park. And all of a sudden, it's 1-1. Blocked by Halloran. Oh, was Kunda was trying to get away. He wants to part the victory players. It's a second yellow card. And that means red. And a bit of a coming to in the centre of the park, Teague and Iren Kunda. Yellow card for Nestor Iren Kunda. Now Zach Clough, he's already provided one assist for Ibasuki. Clough's ball in, back post, oh, what a save from Izzo! Unbelievable save! Bobolina cannot believe it! Against Economides, it's a good turn. Iren Kunda. Well, he was being held, grappled, he's got it, oh, he's off. Iren Kunda, a second yellow card. Connor Chapman comes to tell him where the changing room is as well. A fiery finish to the affair at Amy Park as both sides prolonged their unbeaten starts to the season. The final fixture on Saturday in round three of the Isuzu Ute A-League saw two sides searching for their first wins of the campaign as Perth Glory hosted Central Coast Mariners. Glory boss Alan Stajic made a bold call, dropping first choice goalkeeper Oli Sale to the bench in favour of youngster Cameron Cook, while Mariners coach Mark Jackson made four changes to the side that was beaten by MacArthur in round two. Calling the action at HBF Park was Grace Gill and Teo Pelletzeri. Torres, the outswing free kick. There's a loose man, Paul! And it's clubbed away by Cook, out for a corner. Well, it's a thundering strike from Paul. And now Kamau, can he stretch the field for the glory? Caltech misses the interception and tag it away. Kolakowski is there in support. Kolakowski! Super sub sensation for the glory! And this is the breakout of Stefan Kolakowski that he and the glory had been waiting for. Well, it's a super sub, Kolakovsky coming on, making an instant impact on the Harvey Norman replay. And Kamau is able to prevail. Benny rolls it on for Taggart. Open green grass ahead of Adam Taggart. He bears down on goal! Well, it didn't take Casey Rybelt long in the VAR booth to say, bring it all back. I mentioned Casey Rybelt is in the VAR. Richard Namovsky is the assistant VAR. Angel Torres is sent off for violent conduct. And a tough night becomes even tougher for the Central Coast Mariners. Williams, not the team can keep it. Now the most recent sub in Warland. Squares it, tag it, shooting range, scoring range. Perth Glory finally off and running under Alan Stajic, while the Mariners remain without a single point to their names, having now lost their opening three matches. And the final game of the round took us to McDonald Jones Stadium, where Newcastle Jets played host to the Western Sydney Wanderers. 
Fresh from their 5-0 rout of Western United, the Wanderers' first away game of the season saw them visit a Jets side with one point from two matches and struggling defensively having conceded seven goals. Daniel McBreen and Simon Hill are your commentators for this one. Here's Bahaja. Looking to float it, it's not a bad ball, it's a brilliant goal! What a sensational header! Apostolos Stamatolopoulos! from a peach of a ball in and the Jets probably against the run of play take the lead and Russell they've worked this quite nicely the Wanderers Clisby at the back post and Bayless did enough and got a whack to the head for his troubles as well and now the break is on again for the Jets and Bahar just pace will get in there ahead of Pantasopoulos here's Stamatolopoulos surely 2-0 a brace for Apostolos Stamatolopoulos and the Wanderers caught on the counter again. A composed finish and again it's the pace of Newcastle Jets on the counter attack that unlocks that West Sydney defence. They do have a corner here. The outswinger and Marcelo got to the end of it. It's dribbled in and a fancy Josh Brillante got the final touch. Marcelo gets the acclaim. But the Wanderers are back in it at 2-1 with half an hour to play. Grozos and the ball over the top and here's Bahaja. Surely still there. No. Cleared off the line by Donny Grinich. Lovely ball in behind. Look at that. Perfectly weighted. Sits up nicely. And he just miscues the ball over the top. And you can see the ball just crosses the line there. And that's where... Really could have killed off the game there, just dink it over to the keeper into an empty net. Clisby. Little dink over the top for Borello. Hendricks squared up nicely. Priestman, big chance! 2 2. Marcus Antonsen hits the back of the net for the first time in his wondrous career. And they have come from behind. Two goals behind Western Sydney Wanderers to draw it level. Go away again here. Borello in the middle is Antonsen. The cross is beyond him. Here's Milanovic. Desperately trying to keep it down. Oh, it's a penalty. Handball against Dane Ingham. Let's have a look at the screen. Yeah, no, I don't think that's a penalty. Look where his arm is. It's, yeah, it's, it's in my side. Yeah. There we go. Drop ball restart. Penalty overturned. Cue, big sighs of relief all around McDonald Jones Stadium, apart from the Wanderers fans, of course. And uh, Dylan Chikluna to replace Marcus Antonsen. His uh, second appearance for the Red and Black, both off the bench. And they barely have time to get involved, those two subs, as the full-time whistle goes. And a real topsy-turvy game at McDonald Jones Stadium, the proverbial game of two halves, if you like. Newcastle, so good in the first half. Apostolos Stamatolopoulos with a double, full-time in the Hunter. Newcastle Jets two, Western Sydney Wanderers two. A late comeback from the Wanderers denying Newcastle their first win under head coach Rob Stanton as Marco Redan's side travel back down to Sydney with their unbeaten start to the campaign intact. That's all for this week on the Isuzu Ute A-League Highlights Show. We'll see you next time.